visionary plants and, you know, deep spiritual work and all of that absent a truce with the body, absent a relationship to the body as a, an expression of you to you about you. That's what I believe symptoms are, right? Is it's the soul coming through you. So when you have that illness in my perspective, and certainly not just mine, that that illness is you. What is it? Something about the the truth? Oh yeah. How do you know what's real and what's not? When your body gets clear, it tells you the truth. I think this is something you've you've used in some of the writing too. And so I understand now that impulse, right? Is to say like, whoa, this is just too much and too disembodied, which which often much of modern culture is that. It seems to be just an invitation to disembodiment. And so you're saying, okay, get get back clear to your body. Mm -hmm. And then I'm left now, of course, with, you know, when one is caught in trauma cycles and trauma patterns, your body seems to be not that reliable in certain ways, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, you're in fight or flight, you're in all this mm -hmm. stuff. So I guess I'm, I'm kind of seeing this this dis dispersion of people who are like, whoa, you know, leaning out of the current system, but they're in a way lost, just as mm -hmm. lost, if not more lost outside of that system. Uh, and, and you know, this is what my Charles might say, the space between stories. Yes. Um, and I don't know how to really answer that. But I mean, that's just sort of what I'm seeing, I guess, now from from this seat and this this inquiry. But yeah, I wonder my, what might come to you hearing on that. Mm. Absolutely. Well, I love the phrase you used, invitation to disembodiment. Um, that's a very, feels, feels very true in my body. And, you know, I have clinically, I guess, uh, really come to, uh, again, one very biased perspective, which is that there is an order of operations, right, in the reclamation process, um, in the adulting process, in the healing process, um, although I don't prefer the word healing uh, any longer, actually, I, mm. I like words like self-discovery or integration, um, where there is kind of a Maslow's hierarchy, right? And and when you when you attend to these lower rungs of of need, uh, you can start to ascend in a more um, stable, graceful way. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I am of the perspective that you know understanding the power of your choice through lifestyle decisions, right? Through the, the food that you're eating, the water you're drinking, you know, what does your home environment look like? What products are you buying? You know, what are you doing when you wake up? Um, these kinds of lifestyle-based choices I have witnessed, you know, can, it, it can confer a near magical opening um, into the, the greater dimensions of your personal power through these very secular decisions. But I believe that that, there we are, that has to come first because as you're saying, you know, if your body is riddled with all sorts of neuroinflammatory messages, you know, and you got bloating and headache and, you know, your hair is falling out and your knees throbbing and, and, and by the way, you're, you know, anxious all the time. Your body is, is, you know, a battlefield that of course you're, you're longing to escape from. And that's the nature of dissociative. It doesn't have to be a clinically DSM based dissociative diagnosis for, for all of us to relate to how it is that we fly up here when it gets uncomfortable, you know, down here, or we just numb out and we don't have a relationship, you know, to our own um, embodiment, to our own sense of like, what's actually happening in here right now? Is there a tingling somewhere? Is there a buzzing? Is there a clenching? You know, what's going on? Um, and, and, you know, these tissues, from, from the research I've done, they, they store, um, you know, Candace Pert's work was really informative around that uh, concept. They store emotional uh, material. And so once you get, you know, that foundational physiological platform under your feet, then you can start to look where you haven't been able to look. You're empowered to start to look at your relationship, your job, the incoherence in your life, the ways in which you are opting into ongoing struggle. And that, you know, process can be lifelong, but the, the sort of like, you know, visionary plants and, you know, deep spiritual work and all of that absent a truce with the body, absent a relationship to the body as a, an expression of you to you about you. That's what I believe symptoms are, right? Is it's the soul coming through you. So when you have that illness, in my perspective, and certainly not just mine, that that illness is you. It, it's you, actually. So there's there's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to fight. And you're invited 
to learn and decode your special messaging to you. 